Hey everyone, welcome back to JDB Selects. Now before we get into this week's video, I just want to say a massive thank you for 3000 subscribers. I started this channel back in round 4 of this year as a bit of fun and we're now one of the leading NRL channels, so thank you so much for all the support. And now that that's out of the way, let's get stuck into my round 24 tips for the 2022 NRL season. Going over last week's results, we managed to tip 7 out of 8 games. The Rabbitohs looked good and came back in the second half but couldn't ice it against the defending premiers, and for all the people in the comments who like to accuse me of cheating and changing my tips, any changes I make are pinned in the comments section of the video before the round starts. As always, we go again this week. Round 24 kicks off on Thursday night as the 8th placed Brisbane Broncos host the 5th placed Parramatta Eels at Suncorp Stadium, Brisbane. The Broncos were completely embarrassed in front of their home fans last week by the Melbourne Storm, who piled on 60 points and scored 10 tries to Brisbane's 2. The Eels exacted their revenge on the Bulldogs with a 42-6 point victory. Parramatta's attack was boosted by the return of Mitchell Moses, who had a blinder alongside halves partner Dylan Brown. The Eels piled on the points against Canterbury which was a much needed boost to their for and against. The Broncos have only won one of the past six against Parramatta and have been beaten at home in their last two meetings. I've really struggled to tip the Thursday night games this season and I feel this one could let me down again, but I'm going to take the Eels 1-12. I feel they've shown more in recent weeks and the Broncos' defense seems to have slipped back into its old ways. The first game on Fridays sees the first-placed Penrith Panthers hosting the 13th-placed New Zealand Warriors at Blue Bet Stadium, Penrith. The Panthers were far from their best against the Rabbitohs, however were still able to sneak home by four points in what was a thrilling but scrappy contest. Both sides had opportunities to seal the win earlier but botched multiple tries. The Warriors were unable to snap their losing streak in Townsville, going down 48 points to four in the first of many one-sided games last round. The Warriors couldn't offer anything in attack and were leaking points left right and centre. Penrith have won six of the past seven games against the Warriors in Sydney and go into this having won five straight. Unfortunately for myself and all New Zealanders, I think it's going to be a long night for the Warriors. Penrith have shown their depth in recent weeks while the Warriors have showed very little in attack so I'm going to tip the Panthers 13+. And finally on Friday we have an absolute cracker, as the 4th placed Melbourne Storm take on the 6th placed Sydney Roosters at Amy Park, Melbourne. The Storm piled on a world of hurt on the Brisbane Broncos with a 10 tries to 2, 60 to 12 point victory. The Storm scored over 50 points for the 8th time this season and looked to be building great momentum going into the finals. The Roosters completely dominated the West's Tigers, pouring on 72 points to 6 in a completely one-sided affair at the SCG. Sydney extended their overall winning streak to six and have continued to climb up the ladder. Melbourne will be looking to make it six straight against Sydney, who haven't beaten Melbourne since 2019 and only have a 33% all-time win rate at Amy Park. Despite all that, I am going to take the Roosters by 1-12 to 12 points. I like what I've seen from the Roosters lately, every member of their team has been firing on all cylinders, whereas Melbourne have been kept alive by some individual brilliance. Super Saturday gets underway with the 9th-placed Canberra Raiders hosting the 11th-placed Manly Sea Eagles at GIO Stadium, Canberra. The Raiders staged a second-half resurgence against Newcastle to claw back a 14-point halftime deficit. Canberra kept the home side scoreless, while piling on 20 unanswered points to keep their top eight hopes alive with a 28-22 point win. The Sea Eagles slumped to their fifth straight loss and have continued to look disjointed and divided. Manly could only manage one try to Cronulla's seven and despite losing more key players to injury, look to have completely switched off. Canberra have only won seven of the past 28 game against Manly, have lost seven of the last nine games in Canberra. Normally I would be tipping Manly based on the club's history, but unfortunately Manly have lost too many key players and have mentally been defeated and divided since the Pride jersey scandal so I'm going to take the Raiders by 1-12 to 12 points. The second game on Saturday has the third-placed Cronulla Sharks looking to make it five straight against the 12th-placed Canterbury Bulldogs at Points Bet Stadium, Sydney. The Sharks embarrassed the Sea Eagles at home last week, laying on seven tries to one in a 40-6 point thrashing. Cronulla dominated the game from the opening minute and further cemented their place in the top four for 2022. The Bulldogs suffered their third consecutive loss, this time at the hands of Parramatta. The Dogs were also the victims of another large scoreline, as the Eels went on to win 42 points to 6. 
The Dogs haven't won at points bet stadium since 2011 and look to be up against it again this week. Cronulla has continued to impress this season and will be welcoming the potential return of Siosifa Talakai this week. Cronulla should get the win and buy 13 points or more. And the final game on Super Saturday is another great game with the 7th placed South Sydney Rabbitohs taking on the 2nd placed North Queensland Cowboys at Accor Stadium, Sydney. The Rabbitohs couldn't get the grand final revenge they so desperately wanted against Penrith last week, despite giving them a good run for their money. Both sides were guilty of unforced errors that could have changed the game's outcome. The Cowboys continued their outstanding season with a 48-4 point victory over the Warriors. North Queensland enjoyed 57% of possession and despite having more errors than the Kiwis, were far too strong at home. This will be the first time these two sides have met at a core stadium since 2015. South Sydney have won six straight against North Queensland with three of their wins coming by just one point. This is another make or break game for this round, however I am going to take the Rabbitohs by 1 to 12 points. I think North Queensland have had an easier draw than most sides and have struggled against top eight sides in New South Wales, losing to both the Roosters and Panthers. The Sunday action gets underway with the last placed West Tigers hosting the 10th placed St George Illawarra Dragons at Combank Stadium, Sydney. The West Tigers were absolutely destroyed by the Roosters last week, being outscored by 12 tries to 1 in a 72-6 point shutout. The Tigers looked disinterested and have clearly given up for the season. The Dragons on the other hand had to dig deep against the Gold Coast, including playing the last 20 minutes with 12 men. St George showed they still have fight left in them and won't just be laying over for the final few rounds. This will be just the second time that these two sides have met at Combank with the Tigers getting the W in their first meeting last year. The Tigers have also won four of the past five against the Dragons. A bit of a dead rubber game which means that it could go either way, however I am going to the Dragons by 13 plus. I think they showed great effort last week while the Tigers showed very little. And the final game of round 24 has the 15th placed Gold Coast Titans taking on the 14th placed Newcastle Knights at Seabus Super Stadium on the Gold Coast. The Titans were unable to get past the Dragons with a one-man advantage for a quarter of the game. The Titans were competitive for 50-odd minutes before being blown away late in the contest. The Knights blew a 22-8 point lead at the break to go down 28 points to 22 against the Canberra Raiders. Newcastle only converted one of their five tries in the first half and looked like a different side in the second 40, failing to cross the line once. The Gold Coast haven't lost to Newcastle at home since 2015 and go into this one having won six straight on the GC, however, Newcastle have already beaten the Titans this season by 13 plus. Another dead rubber game, with both sides battling for pride and to avoid the wooden spoon. I'm going to take the Knights by 1 to 12 points, I thought they played really well for patches last week and should be able to snap their losing streak on the Gold Coast if they play for the full 80 minutes. So in summary, my tips for round 24 are the Eels 1 to 12, the Panthers 13 plus, the Roosters and Raiders 1 to 12, the Sharks 13 plus, the Rabbitohs 1 to 12, the Dragons 13 plus and the Knights 1 to 12. Let me know in the comments below who you're tipping this week, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Catch you all next week.